in Solid Camp 2008, we've introduced a new operation called T-slot. This will help us do milling operations such as this slotted area over here on the side and the same thing on this side over here. Let's take a look at how this works. We'll start by going into operations and choosing the new option called T-slot. Choosing the geometry is the exact same as in choosing a geometry pro profile. I'll use this edge over there and accept that and I'll do the same thing on the other side just reverse the direction and accept that now in my tool area I'll choose the slot mill if we take a look at the edit field you'll see it's a 24 diameter uh, slot mill over here 24 diameters and uh, the cutting length is 4 millimeters and the arbor diameter itself is 10 millimeters. In my levels area, my upper level will be this particular surface over there at minus 8 millimeters and my profile depth will be up until that floor over there with a total depth of 45 millimeters. The next thing I'd like to do is go into my technology area. Now in this area we have the first options of tool side just as a regular uh, uh, profile option uh, and we also have compensation and we also have the newly er new area of depth cutting where I can go down in zigzag or one way but now let's go to our rough area in our rough area besides our offset which we have our offsets later on over here we have our cutting depth overlap. We do not have a down step anymore. We have a cutting depth overlap. How much of the tool do we want to overlap between one step to the next step? In other words, if we have a four millimeter depth of cut in our end mill, I'd like to put here, let's say, a 0.5 millimeter overcut. In other words, I'll actually be using a three and a half millimeter uh, of the tool itself to cut this particular slot as I'm going down. We also have control of cut from. In other words, if you want to start cutting from the top to the bottom, as you can see in the picture over here, or from the bottom to the top, middle to bottom, and then completing the top, or just the opposite, middle to top, and then cleaning the bottom. Let's choose top to bottom and we have our offsets we also have wall offset and in addition we also have ceiling offset as you can see in the picture over here and we also have a floor offset as we can see over there now obviously we have our links and I'll use the link of a tangent of let's say uh, 25 millimeters and my lead out will be the same thing now when I do save and calculate and I'll do simulate and we'll use our solid verify simulation let's do this one step at a time the tool will be going down and note the depth of the tool the tool now is going down to minus 12 millimeters remember this height over here is 8 millimeters and the tool depth itself is 4 millimeters so we have here now 12 millimeters altogether at the bottom. Now if I were to continue, it will go up and now my next step will be 15 and a half. In other words, it's gone down now another three and a half millimeters, giving an overlap of half a millimeter on the side. If I were to take a close look over here and run this, you'll see that there is a half a millimeter overlap on the part itself. As you can see over here in the overlap area itself. Now let's go back into our technology area and make one change over here. And the change I like to do is have the depth of cutting depth cutting type to zigzag instead of one way. Let's take a look now at how it works. If I were to do save and calculate and simulate 
in the simulation, the tool will go down. When it gets to the other end, instead of going up and around as it did before, now it will go straight down and work its way back. And that's what we mean by zigzag. It will work it all, its way, all the way down to the bottom. Same thing on the other side. And it will be going back and forth. Now let's take a look at another thing in our technology area. Cut from top to bottom. And I'll change this, cut this from the middle to bottom instead. Now if I were to do set, save and calculate and simulate, you'll see the tool will go into the middle, work its way down, and then come back up and work its way up to the very top, as you can see here. And it'll do the same thing on both sides. Another thing that should be noted, in the tool area, if we go into our data field, since we'll be using a T-slot in this particular operation, note that we have the option of using our diameter offset and we have a length offset number. But we also have the option of using a second offset number if your machine supports this. And I can put here a second offset number of 101. The second offset number will be according to the top of the tool. So you can put two separate offsets in the machine, one for the bottom of the tool and one for the top of the tool. And this will be in the program itself in our G code. You'll be able to see that we have two separate offsets, ma making it for a more exact uh, dimension in your T-slot itself.